So today I wanted to talk to you about routines, specifically morning routines, but you can pretty much have these um, in the morning or at night. Um, my specific routine, what, well, pretty much why it's so important to have a routine. First off, successful people have routines. Um, they create habits, just like you do at work. You create them in the morning for your whole entire day, so you're setting yourself up for success. So Tony Robbins, he definitely creates a routine. He has a routine, specific routine, even down to the minute. You can talk about all the CEOs in the world, all the million dollar earners in the world. Um, uh, definitely the people that are successful will have a morning routine. If that doesn't excite you, then you probably don't want to do a morning routine. But if it does, start doing. Specifically what I do is about four different things, four specific things that I do every morning. Now, when people wake up, they sometimes kind of just lay there in bed and they don't really get excited about it and they're ready and they're like, oh my gosh, it starts another day. Well, not me. As soon as I open my eyes, I pop myself up. I sit myself up nice and strong in bed, set my feet firmly on the ground, and I inhale four breaths in through the nose and four breaths out through the nose. This is very important. I do it four times. While I'm doing the inhales, I'm trying to breathe in everything that is good in life, everything that is positive, everything that's joyful, everything I'm grateful for, for everything that is good. I'm trying to breathe that in for those four seconds. I'm thinking about it. And then when I exhale, I expand and then just release all the negativity. I release all the bad. I release all the ungratefulness. I release the selfishness. I release everything that is bad so I can get that all out of my system. So that I'm just focusing on the positive and the good energy all throughout the day. So four breaths in through the nose and four breaths out. I get up right away. I go right to the kitchen. When I'm at the kitchen, I grab some water. I drink anywhere from 8 to 12 ounces of water. It doesn't really matter how much. Um, sometimes I down 18 ounces, a full bottle of water. It just, based on my health and fitness background, it's so important to keep the body hydrated. So just filling your body with water is such a good, good way to start the day. It gets the chemical reactions going in the body. It kind of cleans out the system, maybe from anything that you had the night before. So always a good idea to stay hydrated and excellent idea to do it in the morning. You can even put some, um, you know, uh, apple cider vinegar in it or lemon water, but whatever you do, make it a routine to stay hydrated in the morning. After that, I actually get my phone. I don't go to Facebook and look at my news feed and see all the people that are posting ridiculous things or go to Instagram right away. I definitely don't check my email. First thing I do is I go to YouTube. As soon as I get to YouTube, I find the people that I like to follow that motivate me the most. Um, Eric Thomas definitely excites me. And then Evan Carmichael, he has the top 10 of successful people. So I get those out. I listen to hopefully about five minutes of those. As soon as I get through five minutes, I'm hoping to get through more. Maybe something else came up, but I'm at least doing five minutes of that motivational or um, affirmations, if you will, to get my mind set right for the rest of the day. So I'm getting that done. I get five minutes in and then I like to try and get a book. If I get the book, it's at least five days a week. I don't typically do these type of things on the um, on the weekends just because it's a different routine. But Monday through Friday, I do these things. I also, just to end it up right, I end up always every single day making sure that my bed is made. That makes sure that I have one task complete for that day and it kind of just gets me set for the rest of the day on the right course. So it's really important, I believe, to have a morning routine because you're setting yourself up for success for the rest of the day because you're already creating tasks and you're already checking those tasks off. Not to mention, it gets your mindset right so that you stay positive and happy and energetic throughout the whole entire day. So hopefully you set a morning routine. Let me know down below what exactly your morning routine is and I'd love to, um, love to see that down below. All right, have a good day, guys.